Willow, do you want to go for a ride? <laughs> what? Do you want to go for a ride? Does my baby girl want to go for a ride? Huh? I don't hear you. I don't hear you. <laughs> More? Say some more. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Ready? Huh? Who's ready? You gonna talk? You ready to go now then, huh? Alright, let's get the stuff. Okay, you ready? Hey. You know what you gotta do. Hey, stay around here. Go poop. <laughs> she, she goes. Of course, right where I gotta go drive. Uh, well, at least she went, right? Hurry up, I'll wait on you. There you go. Look at the weather. We got a little bit of rain. Okay, is she ready? Is she ready? Are you ready? Who's ready to go? Willow? Are you ready? Over here. Let's go. Here. Alright. Today, Willow and I are heading kind of back to town to see if we can't find a campsite at the lake. And spend thinking about going there for the lake. Uh, I think you can stay 14 days the lake the most. Of course, we've got animals here. I'll have to come back and forth to the animals all the time. But the lake's not too far away, so we're going to try that. And she's already ready to roll. Are you ready to go, hon? Are you ready to roll? Are you my good girl? You little runt. Batteries for the camper. We got two of them in here. We're going to be putting two in here. I mean, we'll get, I'm going to get them right now. I think they call these a group. I think it was a group 31. Man, they are heavy. Whew. All right, here's one. All right, this is positive here, and that's positive there. So what we'll be doing is putting cables will go from here to here, and negative goes from here to here. So we'll have two batteries wired in. Hey everyone, um, I'm gonna make a change in this video. You won't see it, but I did say I was gonna wire it in series. That's wrong. I'm wiring the battery in parallel. In parallel means that you can put two batteries together, wire them together, and they stay 12 volts, but you increase your amp hours power. And if you wire them in series, you actually double the battery voltage and increase your amp hours. But being that my camper is a 12 volt system, I cannot double it so I have to if I want to add batteries to give it more strength which will last a lot longer than one battery you wire it in peril so we'll wire it in peril keeps it 12 volts but we double the uh, increase of amp hours so basically these batteries have a 840 cranking amps um, so I will have was it 1680 cranking amps power and each battery has 210 reserves, so that's 410 reserves. So the battery is a lot stronger. It's just only 12 volt, not 24 volt. Connectors is better to have on the bottom and then put the battery cable on top. All right, let's go ahead and get this one. All right, now I have negative. Now I have the negative line. All the old battery bolts I had on here were all stainless steel, except for uh, two 
no, a nut and one bolt. The rest was stainless steel on the other one so they wouldn't corrode. This is the last one. Put that one down there first. Okay. Let me put another Basically, we should be able to light a light here. Let's see. Yep, we got a light on, so we're good. These are going to go back on again, these covers. So I've got to make sure that these wires are kind of like where they need to be. So when I tighten them down, everything fits right over perfectly. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that will go. I know that went that way. That looks good there. And then that one's right there, that's fine. And then the straps that go over each one of these covers, I'll get that after. I want to get these on here now, you know, setting on there first. I, got, I, I cut all these notches out so the cables would all go. I made this system work on this camper. It, this, this did not come with two batteries. I did it. Because when we go to the races and go camping, sometimes we don't have generator run for a day or two. And that way, this allows us to run on battery, and uh, we're good. Now, sometimes I actually bring a solar panel, um, and uh, although my generator can charge my batteries too, but a lot of times I'll bring a solar panel, and I'll hook up to these batteries so I don't have to have generator run so long. Anyway, there we go. That's a perfect fit. Everything looks good. Now I need to go and get my straps back on. Alright, as you can see, I got both covers on. They're all on secured. Each one's strapped on real good. That's on. Next I do is I put a cable, a cable uh, lock on it, or a lock on there with a cable. Let me show you what I got. I do that so, you know, you don't ever know when someone's stealing your stuff. So I got a big, you know what, cable. And I'm putting a big old lock on it too. Now, yeah. Okay, we're all hooked up. We're ready. All right, we're locked up. And this part is basically ready for action. We've been needing to do this for a while, for about a year. I just have we haven't used the camper. Been busy. And. Um, well, I shouldn't say some of that is correct and busy, but this camper was in the uh, in the repair shop. I did a video on it uh, last fall, remember December, and it was they had it for four months, I believe. And um, I that I mean I got to relook at my video, but the slide out, I did a video on it. The bottom of the slide out rotted out, and. Um, they said that the on, on the very bottom of the slide out is supposed to have protective coating and it, it blew off, it came off. Well, I don't think it ever had it because it just doesn't blow off because that's not open when you're driving. But the insurance care company paid for it and it was uh, somewhere around five grand. They took the whole slide out out, put a whole new floor in it, put all new seals all the way around. Although it had new seals in it, I put in, but they resealed it again. I tried to tell them, hey, I'll put the seals in and I was going to keep them because those seals were like $200. And they they took them off and I didn't catch it in time. So anyway, so the slide out's done. It's ready to go. Now I'm going to pull the slide out out and I need to spray the camper for any kind of insects. We always do it two times a year no matter what. That keeps whatever may get in here dead. You can't really get no rats and all that in here because the floor is on a sealed I have a sealed floor on here, so they can't get in. Only ways if the door's open, left open, or something of that nature. All right, let me get going. <laughs> 